how to be a shut your mouth speaker at your next live event and convention. What's going on, everybody? My smart guy, Matt Zapali here, hailing to you from my office here in Oak Brook. I'm actually repurposing this right now. I'm actually doing a podcast of this. So this is actually a live stream on Facebook and at the same time also a, um, a uh, podcast. So what's going on, everybody? Great to be with you guys again. This is the Movement Podcast. Uh, I believe this is our eighth episode so far. I mean, this is 2017. This is actually officially my uh, my 18th, 19th year as an entrepreneur. And uh, uh, I've been doing this since 1998. Let me, sh- let me show you live streamers how long I've been taking notes as, a, as an entrepreneur. Check this out. So I- I've been studying entrepreneurship as a, as, a, um, as a Marine. I was a Marine, the United States Marines, my seventh year. I've been studying entrepreneurship. Check this out. You, you guys see in my notes, that's 1998. 1998, I've been studying entrepreneurship. I was a $15,000 credit card in debt Broke, busted, and disgusted. United States Marine, uh, eighteen thousand dollars a year on uh, on my uh, on my uh, what do you call it salary, and uh, it's just been it's just been an amazing event. How or evolution? Eighteen, nineteen years later, I'm an entrepreneur now. It's the beginning of January two thousand seventeen, and just so excited about uh, business. Never been more excited about entrepreneurship ever before in my life. Uh, we've been through two major recessions in the last fifteen, seventeen years. And our business continues to thrive. Why? Because we decided to pick the right industry. We decided to pick the right mentors. We decided to pick the right uh, moves in our business to, to, to take what we learned from the Marine Corps, which is improvise, adapt, and overcome. I just apply that to business. So, you know, it, very exciting um, this afternoon and why I'm doing this live stream because I got a lot of uh, text messages and emails from people uh, from our company, uh, PHP Agency, that uh, uh, was excited to hear some of the points that we had in terms of preparing for our talk. Because in two weeks... Uh, in two weeks, we have a convention, which I would love to have you join us in in um, in Dallas, uh, Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth. It's going to be in two weeks on January 25th through the 28th. We're going to be uh, at the Fort Worth Convention Center for the PHP annual family reunion, our, our uh, annual convention. And it's just going to be excited to be out there in, in, in Texas. Um, for those of you, by the way, George, thanks for joining, man. Thanks for the comments. Makia, thanks for joining, too, as well. Uh, we're live streaming this, as well as... Repurposing it as a podcast. I'm doing both. I'm doing both at the same time. It's called, by the way, that's a fancy term in, in entrepreneurship. It's called repurpose. In other words, you can do one thing and it does multiple, it does, it goes to multiple areas, multiple platforms. Uh, in the Marine Corps, we call that one shot, two kills. So, uh, uh, by the way, check this out. I've just been going over some of my notes as, as the United States Marine. This, this is a great book here I've been reading from uh, Jason Santa Maria, Vincent Martino, Eric Clemens, PhD. Uh, these guys were uh, Marine officers. Uh, I was never an officer. Um, I wasn't that smart, but they got some great content here on the Marine Corps way using maneuver warfare to lead a winning organization. Great book, great pickup. I've, I think I picked up the book about uh, I don't know five, five, seven years ago. Um, it's funny. I had my kids through the uh, holiday season. I, I had them write write my my name on all my books because everybody likes coming to my house in my office, and I get a book, and, and next thing I, I I I miss I, I I'm missing it and I'm losing it. So therefore, I I had my kids over the Christmas holiday for. For five dollars each, I had them go through my entire library and uh, write my name, uh, my last name on all the uh, books on the uh, the page section here across the spine on the book. So what's going on, Makia? Good to see you. Good to see you, Makia. That rhymes. But uh, back to topic here: how to be a, a shut your mouth speaker at your next convention or live event. And so in two weeks, uh, we're going to be at uh, the Dallas Fort Worth Convention Center. And uh, it's going to be our annual convention for the entire year. So we're celebrating all the success from 2016 and, and um, going to launch the vision of 2017 as a company, as a corporation. And I, I thought I'd do this too because I know there's a lot of companies, there's a lot of guys and gals that follow us on Facebook that is part of our email list, as part of our community to listen to the movement. I just want to be able to share some, some valuable information that, of, of what I do uh, to prepare myself for a talk. And in the Marine Corps, we call this TMI. Before it was all TMI, the whole acronym, but... But TMI in the Marine Corps is Technical Military Instruction. And uh, we had to prepare our talks, and I just adapted that to a business context in the civilian world. But it allowed me to, uh, the Marine Corps experience allowed me to, my eight years on active duty, allowed me to continue to uh, process information that's potentially complex and make it simple. I think that, that's a hallmark of any good teacher is that you make the, 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 the complex situation, make it simple for your audience to understand. And if you want to be a shut your mouth type of speaker 
at your next live event or, or convention and you want to grab the audience and give them some major value and, they, and then you become a memorable speaker, well, this live stream is for you. This, this podcast is for you. And, and I want you to be able to go out there in 2017, rock the stage, rock the house, do some big things. And one of the greatest things you can do is, is go from a one-to-many approach. Uh, when I was a, a licensed advisor for 12 years, from 1998 to 2010, I, uh, I spoke uh, one-to-many very many times. I spoke to clients one-on-one. Uh, a lot of my conversations were one on one until 2006, 2007. I really started doing a lot of more um, uh, conve- or, uh, conferences and, and workshops. And one of the uh, one of the organizations that asked me to do a lot of workshops for them was uh, the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago, right here in downtown Chicago. I got asked to be a partner of the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago, and uh, they wanted me to give classes on personal finance and entrepreneurship, which I did. I, of course, I wouldn't, I didn't want to turn that down. And so I became a Money Smart partner of Money Smart Week for the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago. And so a lot of my talks, I didn't really know how to organize my talks. I can go out there and kind of wing it, but I just felt like I was winging it. I felt like I wasn't giving a lot of good value for a lot of the students or a lot of people that were sitting down in the audience. And, um, and I wanted to take an approach where I can uh, uh, take something that's complex, make it simple, make it tangible, so therefore they can take action steps and get some value out of it and actually show a result 30, 60, 90 days later, a year later, based on some of the things that we talked about. So um, I'm going to share with you some of my five steps here, five steps on how to be a, a shut your mouth type of speaker at the convention or a live event, because I think it's very important for you, especially in this context, especially with social media and so many different platforms. There's so much, uh, so much um, fighting for our attention. There's so many things out there that's going out in the world, and people are being blasted with this and blasted with that. That what do I pay attention to? And so if you have the opportunity to speak on stage, number one, it's a, you know, I think that's a responsibility and a privilege and also a big honor for you to be speaking at any platform. And whether you're paid or not paid, I think it's still a responsibility that you have the hearts and minds of people paying attention to you. And so I think if you're going to go out there and help people and serve people and you're asked to be a speaker, I wouldn't take that opportunity for granted. And I'd, I'd honor that responsibility. I'd honor that process. I would honor that moment because you have the responsibilities that grab into the hearts and minds of people to bless them in a way that they can, they can be a blessing to other people. Uh, you know, of course, that's the same of our company, PHP Agency, people helping people. And it's a pay it forward type of organization. It's a pay it forward type of culture. It's a pay it forward type of mindset, mentality, and attitude amongst all of our staff, all of our, all of our associates, and all of our offices across the country. So here's, here's some things that if you get asked to speak or you're, you're looking to get hired as a speaker. I just came back from Orlando, Florida. I was out there with uh, Jonathan Mason, Kennedy Thomas, Lorna Tracy, um, uh, uh, Tommy Clark, um, uh, Elgin Williams, um, Tony, Tony Martinez. Um, and I was speaking all day uh, from, from morning to afternoon. And, and it was bas- basically there's a pattern, there's a structure in how I talk. People think I'm just winging it. People think I'm just, you know, uh, just kind of uh, going nonchalant. No, it's, there's actually a structure that I've repeated over and over and over and over. And, and it becomes uh, duplicatable. It becomes memorable uh, for people that are listening to you and people that you're teaching to as well. So if you're listening to this podcast or you're watching a live stream and you're in business, you're an entrepreneur, do me a favor. If, if, you're, if you're watching this right now, do me a favor. If, you, if, you, it would, if you, would, you would bless my heart if you would do this, would you not only like and comment, would, would you share this? Would you share this on the wall? And I love it when people share this on the wall because it tells me how, how much of a giver you are. That if you feel that there's content or, or, or information of value to your, 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 yourself, the people that follow you on Facebook, please do me a favor and share this and let everybody know that there's a message of financial hope, of entrepreneurship and free enterprise alive and well in America. What's going on, Lawrence? Lawrence Devon. What's going on, Lawrence? I just saw you and uh, just got to meet you. Pleasure to meet you in, uh, in Orlando, Florida. Listen, listen. When I was in Orlando, Florida, I was totally impressed with uh, everybody there. Here's why. Uh, Orlando, Florida was three and a half hours from everybody from Miami, from Fort, Fort Myers, from Tampa, from Jacksonville, from Plantation, Fort Lauderdale, people, uh, Tallahassee. People are driving three and a half hours to come visit with me. I was just totally honored that people would do that. And whatever I could do to help to, to create an impact or create a moment of, of, of value, of training, of takeaways, to help you become a better entrepreneur in 2017, man, I hope I accomplished that mission. It was just a pleasure to be with you guys in Florida last week, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to, to visiting with more of you and building up the next era, the next wave, the next generation of leaders in America today. So 
Uh, Giovanni, what's going on, Giovanni? Giovanni is an entrepreneur out there in Sacramento. Super proud of you, big dog. Um, he's been a loyal uh, follower, just been a loyal entrepreneur, just been a loyal guy. Just, just I can just feel your energy all the time, man. And so uh, thank you for joining the live stream. Thank you for sharing this on your wall. So let's get into it. Um, being a speaker is such an amazing opportunity for you to hone your message, for you to get the message that's deep down inside of you. Oftentimes you hear it from other people, you hear something that gravitates to you, but it's different when you internalize it, process it, and it comes out yourself. So, so for example, when I hear a lot of uh, speakers out there, when I hear a lot of people that just motivate me, inspire me, and then it cause me to action, there's a difference way, there's a difference in the way I regurgitate that, that information. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I always worried about as a speaker is, do I have original content? Do I have original content? Do I have original content? And it's original to you. It's original to the public because if you speak from a position of experience, if you speak from a position of moral authority, that means you've done that. You've been there, done that. If you speak from a position of personal example, then I, I personally consider that original content. Now, I'm going to share with you five points that I've heard in multiple different ways, but I'm articulating it differently. Why? Because I've experienced it differently. My experience is much different than the same experience that person to the left and to the right of me through execution. So through my execution over the last 17, 18, 19 years of being, being an entrepreneur, I've learned to speak differently. I've learned to adapt my talk. I learned to improvise and I learned to how to, to, to create a message to my audience that I hope and I believe has been memorable. I've been hired as a speaker. I've been asked to speak for free. I've been asked to speak um, in, 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 ma in masses. I've been asked to speak at churches. I've been asked to speak at schools. I've been asked to speak at small businesses. I've been asked to speak all over the place using these five points to be a shut your mouth type of speaker. Somebody, somebody in the comment section type in shut your mouth. I'd appreciate that. Uh, that make me laugh. Okay, so number one, you've got to have an outline. Have a speaker outline. Now, on my blog, I'm going to give you my notes of this podcast. I'm going to give you my notes of this live stream. These are my notes. These are my notes that I'm sharing with you on how to be a better speaker. So if later on, when I post this on my blog at moneysmartguy.com, you guys can look at my speaker outline. So, uh, uh, matter of fact, those of you, boom, boom, you see my computer? I'm showing my live stream right now. There you go. D, how you doing, doctor? Is that Dr. D? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Makia there says, shut your mouth. Uh, Lawrence says, shut your mouth. I'm sh he goes, shut your mouth. Not, not the mouth, not the T-H, but the mouth. That's hilarious. So, number one, uh, to be that type of speaker, to be a shut your mouth type of speaker. Good to see you, Dr. D. Um, by the way, are you, are, are you going to visit with us in Dallas? We're going to go to your backyard. We're going to uh, your backyard. We're going to be there in Dallas here in two weeks. Love to have you there. Of course, it's your backyard, but love to have you there and grow together as entrepreneurs. So, number one, have a speaker outline. And you want to develop talking points from problems you face pertaining to the topic that you're talking about, right? And so trying, I love to see that, D. Uh, I like trying, listen, give it your very best shot. Give it your very best shot. Appreciate you, Dr. D. So back to the speaker outline. Number one, develop talking points from problems that you face. And one of the things you can do is you can brainstorm a ton of problems. You know, um, I'll, I'll give you an example. So one of the, one of the topics I'm, asking, I'm, I'm being asked to speak on is the crusade of financial services, the crusade of PHP agency. So I'm going to be talking about some certain topics and problems that I face dealing with banks, dealing with financial services companies, dealing with the financial services industry. I'm going to be talking about those problems. The second thing in my structure is what's the consequence? What's the consequence of allowing this problem to continue? Because if you don't fix the problem, then there's going to be a, there's going to be a there's going to be an ultimate problem. And if you allow these problems to continue, what's the consequence? And the third thing is you want to talk about in your talking points, it's what's your solution? What's your solution to fixing the problem? What have you seen in your wisdom, in your action plan, in, in, in the success of your business? I don't care if you've been in business 90 days or 9 years or 19 years. You have some form of actionable uh, steps. Okay? So, one, brainstorm your problems. Number two, the consequences. Number three, the solution to fixing a problem. And number four, share a story. Okay? Share your story. Share your story. Show some social proof of somebody that followed what you did and how they gained value and how they fixed that problem and avoided it altogether because you came into their life as a leader, because you came into their life as an entrepreneur. You came into their life as a person giving value to their lives. Okay? So make sure you have a speaker outline based on those bullet points. So when you go up and talk, right, you're going to have a piece of paper. 
you can have a piece of paper in front of you, and it's, it, I think it's acceptable. I, I, I find no problem when the speaker's up there with either an iPad or a piece of paper or their uh, PowerPoint notes uh, printed out in front of them. I have no problem with me being in the audience seeing a speaker up there with those things in his hands. I don't look at it as a prop. I look at the speaker as well prepared. Okay, because I know they're, they're about to bring it in five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 20 minutes, and they're about to go out there and uh, go out there and uh, uh, bring value to the audience. So if you have speaker notes or, 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 or an iPad or something like that in your hand, yeah, more the merrier. And you're going to have a speaker outline of your talking points. Did I say paragraphs, verbatim, word for word? Personally for me, some speakers do that. Personally for me, I don't. I like, I like the bullet points because in the heat of the moment, when you're on stage, your adrenaline is running, you're just fired up and excited, you don't have time to read from your notes verbatim because that dis for me, that disconnects your energy and your focus and your attention to your audience. So for me, when I, when I write, when I have notes, I like to see just big bullet points. The, the main topic, number one, and the, and the bullet points right underneath it as framework and you, and you give it the muscle, okay? Speaker outline, number one. Number two, uh, you want to generate audience participation with humor, a joke, or a quick survey. Think about how I just started this live stream. Was it, was it boring? I hope not. I started off with a joke. I said, shut your mouth, right? You want to start off your conversation with the audience with something that's uh, filled with humor, a joke, or a quick survey. I'll give you an example. Uh, a lot of the financial workshops I give to entrepreneurs to, to, to get them to find ways to increase their income, whether they're part-time or full-time. Uh, M Malika Felix. Malika Felix says, Matt, I've been putting your tips and advice to use every single day since Saturday. This guy is amazing, guys. Thank you, Malika. So awesome. I appreciate you. I look forward to seeing you in Fort Worth, Texas here in the next couple of weeks. Make sure, if you could do me a favor, could you share this on people's, uh, on your wall so people can see the major movement we're about to have in Fort Worth, Texas in the next couple of weeks. And by the, by the time I post this online, I'm going to put a link. If you haven't um, heard of our convention in the next two weeks and the next 14 days, please join us in Fort Worth, Texas. In the next two weeks, our, one of our guest speakers uh, is Magic Johnson. So myself and about another 30, 40 other speakers, we're going to be speaking on stage, sharing the platform with uh, Magic Johnson. So we're really excited about, about all that. So please share this on your wall. Please uh, share, share the love, share the information, share the message. Uh, so generate audience participation with humor, joke, or quick survey. So one of the ways I... I kick off, um, kick off a workshop, I ask this question. Raise your hand if you like money. Boom, people raise their hand. Second question, by the way, keep your hand up. Second question, raise your other hand if you like money, like a lot of money. And boom, people have their hands both raised up. And I said, listen, if people don't have both their hands raised up, they're probably lying to you about something else, too, because everybody likes money, right? And by the way, some people will, will never raise their hand no matter what I say. But that's a way for me to engage audience participation and do a quick survey. So here's the thing, too, with, with generating audience participation. Speak with the audience. Speak with the audience, not at them. Okay, you're not their parent. You're not the boss, uh, unless, of course, you are. But speak with, and even if you are a boss, speak with your, your, your organization. Speak with your team. Speak with your company. Because uh, the last thing people ever want to see is a boss. You know, people want freedom, right? Uh, oh, oh, by the way, man, I saw a heavy, heavy movie last night called Birth of a Nation. I suggest everybody watch that movie. Birth of a Nation, heavy, heavy movie. Talking about people wanting their freedom. You know, so many people are, 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 are just shackled up in financial bondage, right? And so becoming an entrepreneur for me has been my way to break the chains of financial bondage and be free, free financially, free um, uh, mentally, free spiritually, free um, emotionally. That's what entrepreneurship has allowed me to do. By the way, it's going to be my talk here in uh, the next couple of weeks. Speak with the audience, not at them. That way your message is more memorable share a second here's the second thing about that share a common pain share a funny inside story that pop, probably a lot of people know about uh, and and uh, uh, and you want to share that inside story with a lot of people so therefore the inside joke becomes everybody's joke and um and also share a mutual experience that everybody can relate with uh, i think uh, victor lander was kicking off was uh, kicking off our training here last tuesday he was talking about uh, a personal um your professional uh you, 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 you dress professionally. You come to a meeting, you dress professionally. Because a lot of people that we mentor, man, you know, we're, we're from uh, middle-class neighborhoods. We don't know what it means to be white-collar. You know, listen, we're blue-collar in a white-collar in a white-collar world. And so he's teaching them professional decor, professional dress. He's teaching them a lot of different things. By the way, that's my wife in back. Say, hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> and uh, he, he was talking about uh, um, uh, you know, brushing your teeth. He said, listen, man, most, most people here in this room, I hope, 
brushes their teeth first thing in the morning. But just want to let you guys know, throughout the day, that wears off. So make sure you come to a professional meeting with some chewing gum or some uh, uh, breath fresheners. Uh, don't don't uh, don't uh, don't uh, blow anybody off from a networking event because if you see if I'm looking at you, my eyes are squinting. Chances are your breath is stinking. So uh, <laughs> that was Victor Lander. So he was sharing a mutual experience that everybody can relate with. You see, so that that's how you generate audience participation with humor, a uh, joke, or a quick survey. Third part about that though, if something goes wrong, don't criticize or blame uh, blame anybody. You can challenge people. Uh, but ultimately, you want to win the crowd. You want to earn the people's trust. So therefore, if the PowerPoint is going bad, or or or, or something's going wrong in the venue, stop. You know, or, or things are running late. Personally, for me, I'm not calling. That's not the platform for you to call anybody out. It's not the platform for you to call it the AV, the AV people, the tech people, whatever the case may be. If you're flustered on stage, uh, and you show yourself to be flustered, people will tend to not like you, right? Or people will find ways to tune you out because they just don't like the way you reacted in a negative situation. Part of your part of the reason why you are a entrepreneur is you know how to deal with challenges, right? One of the things that we're fostering in 2017 is tough, competitive, uh, giving, grateful entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, Ryan, Ryan Mar says, love money, a lot of money. Money is the root of happiness. You have words of wisdom, sir. You have taught me a lot. So blessed because of your insight. Ruben Morales. Ruben Morales, I appreciate that comment, my man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And if you wouldn't mind, guys, please like and share this uh, on your wall. So based on that point, if something goes wrong, don't blame or criticize. Earn people's trust. Earn their respect. Have a positive mindset. And make the best of anything that may come your way. And, and that's part of your, your, your way of being witty. So if something negative comes your way, find a way to make a joke out of it. Okay, because... Because that's a positive response to a negative situation. If something goes wrong, make a joke out of it. Uh, a, 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 a decent joke. Not a, a joke that bullies or puts somebody under the table. But, but have, a, have, a fun, uh, have a fun joke. Okay? Um, third, third point, technology. Okay, as a public speaker, you got to deal with technology, whether the PowerPoints, the projector, your, your, uh, your lab, your mics. Um, when it comes to technology, let's talk about PowerPoint slides real quick. I wouldn't load your slides with tons of content and bullet points. Don't clutter your PowerPoint slides with, cop with copy. If you ever watch Steve Jobs, he was the master at product launches. Everybody, journalists, people in, in the technology community would flood his, um, his, his product launch PR uh, kickoff because they can't wait to see the new iPhone. They can't wait to see the new MacBook Air. They can't wait to see the new iPad. And if you ever look at his PowerPoint slides, his PowerPoint slides didn't have technology specs on the slides. He sold the dream, showed an image, and talked about it from stage. He was a center point. The PowerPoint is not the center point. You, the speaker, you, you are the center point, okay? Uh, if you got to put text on a slide, the rule of thumb is use a 36 to 40 font size, um, uh, 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 character size on your on your. PowerPoint slide and no more than three or four bullet points per slide. So if you got nine or ten talking points, then you're going to have three or four PowerPoint slides. Okay. So you don't want so much copy, and you want the copy to be seen, and and you don't want your words long. So you're not writing long sentences. Okay. So you want you don't want long sentences. Now, if you have a quote, the only thing that's on your PowerPoint is that quote in a large font, right? Because I'm going to get to to why here in a second but you want a large font. So uh, another thing you can use is images, right? Use images. Don't, don't load up your PowerPoint slide with so many quotes and so many words that people are losing focus. They're, lo they're all over the place. They're not listening to you. You need to grab the audience attention. What I would do too is if you are posting an image up there or it's inside embedded with inside the PowerPoint slide, put in your social media handle. Like for example, I'm going to go out there and, and speak in front of 3,000 people and host and all that stuff. But I'm going to have inside the PowerPoint slide, I'm going to have at Money Smart Guy. So when people are taking pictures of the slides, people are taking pictures of my images that I have during my talk, they're going to have my handle uh, to always reference back to. So therefore, they can find me on Instagram. They can find me on Snapchat. They can find me on, on Facebook. They can find me online. Um, other thing with technology, make sure you uh, get together with your AV to make sure that if you have videos with inside your PowerPoint, that it works. That if you're clicking a link or you have to give them a file, Make sure that that works. You do that beforehand, not 
30 seconds right before you can do your talk. Matter of fact, if you want to do it a few hours in advance or the night before, just to make sure all your talks um, uh, and your videos are, are squared away, make sure you talk, talk with the video crew uh, beforehand. Um, sometimes, especially in convention centers, there's not immediate access to Wi-Fi. So I would have that file in a thumb drive. I would have your PowerPoint on the thumb drive with all your videos, your 10-second, 30-second, one-minute, two-minute videos. I'd have it all in one thumb drive, so therefore when the AV guys, they load up your PowerPoint, they can also load up the links on their, on their system. So therefore when you click on your PowerPoint, you want to show a video, it's nice and smooth. It's not waiting to download. It's not waiting to buffer. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Number three. Okay, so number one was... Um, Number one was speaker outline. Number two, generate audience participation. Number three is usage of technology. Number four, be enthusiastic. Be enthusiastic, all right? So we want to be enthusiastic. Open with something that breaks the ice. Walk and pace the stage and breathe, okay? I know it's kind of nerve-wracking to be on stage, to be talking in front of people, but walk and pace the stage and breathe. Walk and pace the stage and breathe. Um, the best place to stand, let's say you are flipping through PowerPoints, the best place to stand when you're introducing new slides is to stage left. So in other words, if I'm in the audience, boom, and I'm looking at the stage, boom, I want to see you on the left. And then when you click your slides, it slides to the right. Slides to the right. Okay, it's like the Cupid Shuffle. Right, so the reason that is is because in America at least, in North, North America, people, people read left to right. We sit down in a menu at a restaurant. Do you read left to right? I know some of you have listened to my Snapchat, so you only want to look at the left. You don't care what the cost is. You just look to the left. So you want to introduce you, the speaker. People are looking to the left. You want to introduce that slide. It goes to the right. That's the best way to introduce new content to your audience because that's how they process information. You maximize the way their mind processes information. Now, if you're in China or, 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 or places where they read up and down, I'm not sure exactly how they read, but I think it's up and down from the back of the cover, back of the book to the front of the book. That's how they read a book. But in America, you want to be the speaker on stage left and introduce your PowerPoint slide. So therefore, it slides to the right. Just remember that. Remember the Cupid shuffle. Slide to the right. So your PowerPoint slide appears to the stage right. It's how our brain is programmed and digests information. Okay. So be enthusiastic. Uh, smile. Breathe, engage. People will remember your enthusiasm. I remember um, uh, I was on a, a TV uh, show one time. It was uh, um, Gerard McClendon, the Gerard McClendon show. And he said, Matt, listen, I love the way you talk about credit cards, how to get out of credit card debt, and how to become an entrepreneur. It's because the way you say it is because you're enthusiastic about it. Okay? Uh, if you're talking about a topic that you're passionate about, show your enthusiasm. Okay? Show that you're excited to be there because your enthusiasm is how the crowd will react off your enthusiasm. If you're fired up about your topic, your, 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 your audience will be fired up about your topic, your topic. If you're angry or you're showing emotion, they too will feel that too as well. So it just depends on what type of emotion you want your audience to feel. So uh, I love the type of talks I love. Here are the type of talks I love. I love the type of talks that make you laugh in the beginning, right? Make you cry in the middle and make you fire up to run through a wall at the end. So if you can think about that type of emotional um, roller coaster that you take people through, that makes you a shut your mouth, top of speaker, rocking the stage, as we look forward to 3,000 people descending upon our convention in Fort Worth, Texas here in the next couple, in the next couple of weeks. By the way, I got a contest to announce here at this end of this one, okay? Uh, this is going out to... Brand, a brand new person, not to our friends at PHP Agency, if you're a current associate at PHP Agency, this is not going out to you. But I have a contest because I have two tickets. I have two tickets. Uh, I have two tickets for somebody that wants to change their life, okay? Somebody wants to change their life, all right? So I'll announce the details here at the end. So stay with me, and if you're watching this right now, make sure you share this with people on your wall, if you wouldn't mind doing that. I love that. I'd love for you to share value. If you feel that this is value, valuable to you, please share this one on your wall. It tells me what type of giver you are. You tell yourself what type of giver you are too as well. So be enthusiastic. Think about the emotional ro roller coaster you take people through. Um, number, f uh, number four. So number one was um, speaker outline. Number two was generate audience participation. Number three was technology. Number four is be enthusiastic. Um, here, here's another point to that too. Uh, five, and I actually have a, bonus, I have a bonus tip here too, so I actually have six points. So five, drill, practice, rehearse. Tip number five is Drill, practice, drill, rehearse. Please, please don't let this 
be your first time presenting your talk. If you're presenting your talk for the very first time on stage, you're already behind the power, power curve. So, um, Dr. D, miss you too. I know you're still here. I, I, I know you're still here. Dr. D, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Makia, good stuff, Matt. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. C, Dr. D says that's helpful. Awesome. Uh, Lawrence has a bunch of uh, uh, crying faces and a prayer hand. Uh, awesome. Appreciate the comments that you guys are sharing on this uh, Facebook live stream. Okay. So practice drill rehearse. Okay. So uh, I remember John Maxwell sharing a long time ago, John Maxwell, a leadership coach. He said, you should practice your talk anywhere between 10 and 12 times before you get on stage. Um, practice your talk 10 to 12 times before you get on stage. So therefore, by the time you get on stage, you're in a natural state. You're in a natural state. You're not awkward. You're not mechanical. You're natural. You're having fun. And th instead of thinking talk, you're doing talk. Jason Colon, what's going on, buddy? Hey, I appreciate our conversation on, uh, was that, Monday night? So let's, let's find a way to connect uh, live and in person, man. Thanks for joining the live stream. So uh, do your talk. Don't think about your talk. Don't be awkward. Don't be mechanical. How do you get that out of your, how do, how do you get that out of your system? Is you, you practice, you drill, you go through your talk over and over and over and over again. I think my wife and I, we got like four or five different talks to, to give uh, over this three-day conference. So we're going to be practicing a lot over the next two weeks, all right? Because you want to be in a natural state, okay? Uh, by the way, back to technology and the bullet point. One bullet point takes about one to two minutes to articulate. So if you, want, you have one bullet point out there, depending on the content you have, it takes anywhere between one and two minutes to articulate. And so therefore, one of the things you don't want to do as a speaker, you don't want to go over your time. So just keep that in mind. Have that mental clock. And the reason why you're practicing, drilling, rehearsing is because you got a stopwatch in front of you. So you know what to not articulate. You know what type of uh, areas to make punchy uh, and things that you really want to lay into make the audience. And things not so much. Uh, it's not necessarily about the, 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 qual the, the, the quantity of your content. It's the quality of your content, especially as a speaker. Because these days, you can just reference people to your website. If they want more quantity, they can go to your website. They can go to your social media profile. They can go to your Facebook page, right? All right, next one up. Be on time. Be on time and end on time. Because that's a way for you to respect the venue, to respect the convention, to respect the live talk and the other, other speakers that are around you. Because everybody's already running on a tight agenda. And so everybody needs to be on time and finish on time. Okay, bonus tip. Number six. You ready for this? Here we go. Bonus tip. Have fun. Have fun. You just got asked to speak on stage. Somebody asked for your message. Somebody asked for your, for your being, for your experience, for, for, for your example to be, to be shown as an example to other people. And that's an honor. Uh, that's a privilege. And it also is a responsibility. But don't be too uptight about it. Have fun throughout the process. You right? I want you to own the stage. This is your stage. Have fun. Own the stage. This is you. This is your time. This is your time to shine. All the heartache, all the setbacks, all the people telling you no, all the canceled contracts, all the chargebacks, everybody giving you doubt, everybody, everybody giving you disbelief. And next thing you know, you're speaking on stage. Guess what? You forget about all that. You forget about all that. Why? Because you're winning. You're on stage, you're winning. You're speaking in front of people, you're winning. I don't care if it's three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes. You are winning. Have fun. This is your moment in the, shot, in, in the spotlight. This is your moment to shine. Get it done. Have fun. Be enthusiastic. Have your emotion. Get passionate. I'm just getting fired up about this right now. <laughs> Have your talks. Here's another point. Have your talks be recorded by a teammate. Okay? I love that. Dr. D, hashtag winning. Have your talks recorded by a teammate, okay? Make sure you have a good camera, whether you use, um, uh, we have a camera for this. Where's our camera? Uh, right here. So I have a, I have a special camera to re record our talks. This is a, what is this, a Sony, um, what is this, a Sony A6000? What is this thing? Uh, oh, it's a Sony A5000 camera. It's got a wide-angle lens on it. It's got, the, uh, it's got the USB port here on the side. So therefore, um, as soon as our talk is done, I upload this to our, our video guy and they start chopping it up and the, therefore they can re repurpose it, edit it, and put it out on, online in a couple of days after the convention. So you want, you, want to, you want to record your talks. Another reason why you want to record your talks is so therefore you can study you. I know some of you are saying, man, I don't like seeing myself on film. I don't like seeing myself on, on camera. I don't like seeing myself on TV. Well, you're going to have to. You know why? Because you've just been asked to speak. And guess what's going to happen? Because you're going to knock it out the parking and do a phenomenal job. You're going to probably be most likely asked to speak again. And so what you want to do when you look at your talks, you don't look at you 
when you're studying your game tape, watching you talk, you're watching out how you make people feel. See, that's what I'm studying. When I'm watching my, when I'm watching my videos, when I'm watching my talks, I'm studying how I'm making people feel. I'm studying the audience reaction. That's what I'm studying. I'm studying where I can insert certain jokes next time, where I can insert certain humor, I can insert certain um, uh, moments of inspiration, where I can insert certain quotes. So, uh, Carrie Lindsay, what's going on, Carrie Lindsay? Is that Tony Martinez? What's up, Tony Martinez? Good to see you from Florida. What's going on, Tony Martinez from Fort Myers? My man. By the way, hilarious photo you just sent me about a couple hours ago about speaking on stage and duplication and coachability. That was freaking hilarious. I love it. And by the way, that's, that's part about the inside joke that everybody gets to know about when, when, when you speak about it on stage. Tony Martinez does just shared that, shared that moment with me so uh, via text messages uh, a couple hours ago. So have your talks recorded by a teammate. Have a separate camera, whether your cell phone or somebody else's cell phone. Log into your Snapchat account. Uh, log into your, uh, your, your, your social media account, whatever you decide to use, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. Take a picture of a selfie of you on stage. Whether you take a picture of you on stage, having fun, of course. Uh, everybody rocking the stage, everybody welcoming you. Most likely people either sitting down or standing up, but uh, it depends on how you walk the stage, how you enter the stage. Do you walk in with a command presence or do you walk in like, oh, meek, meek and meager? You better walk in the stage and command that stage, hands raised in the air, excited, fired up, right? So therefore the audience could be excited and fired up and feed off your energy. So, so have a selfie, take a picture of that. And if you're on Snapchat, do a 10 second snap of what it feels like to be on stage in front of 3,000 people. Uh, number four, have, uh, before you get on stage, here's the thing. Here's, here's one of my deals. I personally have a routine. I have a routine backstage to get me in an emotional, physiological state to rock the stage, to focus out everything and focus on anything that I'm about to bring on stage. I, I, I think it was backward. I focus on anything and I focus on everything I'm about to bring. I, I, well, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So... I want to drown out all the distractions, basically what I'm trying to say. I want to drown out all my distractions and everything at that moment. I don't care if it's two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes. The most important thing right now is the message I'm about to deliver to the audience. The message I'm about to deliver to the audience. See? So have a routine backstage. Here's my routine. I'm standing backstage. I'm in zone. I'm in a zone mode. I learned this from Tony Robbins. Um, uh, Unleash the power within. I was there for a four-day convention, and I learned to get myself in state. This is what I call getting yourself in state. You just got to kind of walk the stage like you were on backstage. You got to have it in a different state. Kind of like how football players get fired up before they, before they take the field. That's what I'm talking about, okay? You see how f uh, uh, football players, they're in the tunnel. They're getting in an emotional state. They're getting fired up, pumping each other, pounding each other's pads, hitting each other on a helmet. That's your, that's your routine. So here's my routine. I sit backstage. I'm on stage. I got my microphone on, so I got to make sure I don't pound my microphone. I beat my chest like this. Value, value, give them value, 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 give them value. Boom. That gets me in an emotional state, right? That gets me in an emotional state that I'm ready to go out there and give the audience value, okay? Because it's not about the messenger, in my personal opinion. It's not about the messenger. It's about the message. Hold on. My, my, my cord just dropped here. And so, by the way, are you guys getting some, some value out of this? Let me know in the comment section. Are you guys getting some value out of this? I know some of you are. Some of you have been very generous with the comments. Uh, some of you have been enjoying. Th some of you have been sharing. I appreciate that very much. Um, what are some of the things that you're already learning about taking the stage and being a speaker? I'd, I'd love to know. Uh, and I'm going to wrap it up with this. I got about maybe uh, Dr. D says, heck yeah. Um, I got, actually, I got to leave here in a minute. But uh, actually, I got, I got an appointment here. I got to jam to. But I'm going to wrap it up with this. I guess I don't have time for Q&A. Uh, but I'm going I'm I'm to leave with this. Um, I have a lot of fun rocking the stage because that is a uh, great position of res responsibility and um, it's a great position of being able to get ahead. So um, anyway, Lawrence, I appreciate you, man. Um, I appreciate you uh, tuning in. Jason, appreciate you guys tuning in. Please share, please share this with, uh, with your um, friends on Facebook and um, let me, let me, actually, I got, I got a message here from one of you guys. Uh, let me see this thing. Um, I forgot to mention, I do have a contest before I go. I may not have time for Q&A, but I do have time for a contest. Here's the deal. You cannot, you cannot be part of PHP agency, right? you got to be a guest. So if you're brand new to our uh, Money Smart Guy page, if you're brand new to us, um, on, uh, if, you're, if you share a couple things I want you guys to do, I want you to share this on your wall. 
I want you to write down the value you got, if any, the value you got and how to rock the stage, how to be a shut your mouth type of speaker, right? Either at your next convention or live event, I, uh, I want you to have a little short testimonial about what you learned from this video. And I'm going to rant, I'm going to randomly search anybody who shared this, right? And you, you, you cannot be with PHP. And by the way, if you're part of PHP and you, you get some values and you share it out of kindness of your heart, awesome. Uh, and maybe if uh, for some of you guys, uh, when we do get to convention, let me take that back. Some of you guys at convention that are part of PHP, I'll, 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 I'll randomly um, do something special for you at convention. But uh, Ryan, he says, new guy. Ryan, listen, if you're, if you're brand new to our Money Smart Movement community, if you're brand new to entrepreneurship, listen, I want to find a way to bless your life. And here it is. The convention, the, the cost of the convention, it's a three-day convention, January 25th to the 28th. January 25th to the 28th. That's in two weeks. I know it's absolutely inconvenient, but then again, success and convenience don't hang out. So here's the deal. If you want to change your life in 2017, if you are serious about it, you're just not interested, but you're serious and you're committed to it, I want to find a way to help you too as well, which means that I need to help put you in the right environment to start speaking a different language. The language, not by the way, the language I grew up outside of English in America, I need to help a lot of people. 90% of people are speaking this language. 90% of Americans are speaking this language. You know what that language is? That language is brokenese. They speak broke. They talk broke. They think broke. And because they think broke, they talk broke, they are broke. And my job as a, as a business coach, as a financial coach, as an entrepreneur, is to provide that value to encourage and influence people to an environment of which they can change and transform their lives. So if that's you, and you say, Matt, I want to change my life in 2017. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm absolutely committed. I'm willing to invest in me. Awesome. Well, I'm going to invest in you. You say, Matt, listen, I want to get out of debt. I want to make more income in 2017. I hate my job. I can't stand my job. I don't even know why I'm at my job. And you want to change your life financially? You want to make some moves? I got you. So here's the deal. If you share this on your wall, number two, write a short testimonial. I'm going to randomly select the winner for two tickets. These tickets are, I think right now, they're up 350 400 bucks a piece in Fort Worth, Texas. So if you are the, that person chosen, I'm going to select two people because I got two tickets left. The whole entire office here, everybody's scrounging for tickets. But I got two tickets here for a new guy, new gal, to come out to the convention, right? If you can, if you can put yourself up, you can fly yourself out to Fort Worth, Texas, okay? For two people, brand new, can't be part of our current PHP family. And I'll, I'll announce something else for our, cur our, our current PHP family. But if you share this, and you write a short testimonial, I will randomly select two people and, 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 and uh, offer an opportunity for you to come to Fort Worth, Texas, on your own dime, of course. It's got to be on your own dime. you got to invest in you. You meet me halfway, I meet you halfway. And here's the deal. These tickets are about $350, $400 a buck, uh, right now. I'm giving it to you absolutely for free. Two people. So, Mr. Ryan Marshall Dunlap, if you want to change your life financially and you're absolutely committed to it, Awesome, I got you. Fly to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas in two weeks, and I'll make some introductions for you. Depending on what city and state you are, I want to find a local entrepreneur in your area that I can plug that I can plug you into. So therefore, you can start thinking differently, you can start acting differently, um, you can start uh, moving things differently. Yes, you come out to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, I'm going to give you a ticket absolutely for free, assuming that you're not part of our current PHP family. And I'll verify it because uh, people in our PHP family have code numbers. So if that's you, you're brand new, you're just watching this live stream either today live, you're watching it an hour from now, you're watching it two hours from now, and you're branded to our community, you're branded to our PHP, PHP agency family, and you're not yet an entrepreneur or you're a current entrepreneur and it's not really working out for you or you don't have a, you know, you don't have a, a, a pattern of success over the next 10, 15 years, excuse me, the next, uh, um, over the next uh, 6 to 12 months to make $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 a year. This convention will show you exactly how to do that. We just went over the topics today. Unbelievable topics are going over our agenda over the next three days. And if that's you, you like this, you, you, you like this video, you share this video, you write a short testimonial about this video, I will choose two people and give them a free ticket to our convention in the next two weeks. Okay? You gotta fly your way down there, but if you fly your way down there, here's the deal. I kind of got it in with this guy named Patrick Ben David. He's 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 my mentor and uh, I've, 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 cleared this, uh, I've cleared this with him that I'll make a quick introduction. It's not going to be a long, you know, 10, 15, 20-minute discussion, but it's going to be a quick introduction. You guys can take a picture. You guys can take a selfie, 10-second uh, snap, 30-second snap, whatever the case may be. I'll make a quick introduction for you to meet Valuetainments, Patrick McDavid, 
and I'll get to meet you, I'll get to have you meet a local entrepreneur in your area that after the event you want to go from the wow to the how, I'll connect you with a local entrepreneur in your area for for education and awareness and accountability because I want to assist in helping change your life financially. Lawrence Devon Joss says new people who just started Patriot or not in the company altogether. Okay, so if you're in the company together, here's what I'll do. If you like if you like and share this and you write a testimony about what you learned in this video, here's what I'm going to do for our current PHP family. I'm going to select two as well. At convention, at convention, what I'm going to do, if, if I select you because I like what you shared on your testimony and you liked it, and make sure you message me. So if to make sure I get it, sometimes some shares I don't get, make sure you message me right here on the Facebook page that you shared it on your wall. You take a snapshot of it with your camera, you snapshot with your Mac, and you message me what your testimonial was, Okay. If you do that, I'm going to select two associates of PHP. I don't care if you're a marketing director. I don't care if you're a trainee. I don't care if you're brand new. I don't care if you're six months into the business. I'll sit down with you and I'll do a brief coaching session with you to make sure your business plan is squared away for 2017. How's that? And if you want to bring your team around uh, in, a, in a conversation, it'd be me and you or me and you and your team. Okay? I will do that for you when we get to convention at Fort Worth, Texas. I'll make sure my staff, my assistant puts that in my schedule, my agenda. In, in, in addition to all the talks i got to do, I want to slice that time for you because you're kind enough to, to watch this video and kind enough to share this video, kind enough to share a testimonial. I'll give you some time, go through your business plan, make sure, make sure you're on the up and up, right? And there going forward, we got, we got some good friendship and good, good business alignment going forward. So listen, I got to get to this appointment. I got to get to my next, my next conversation, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining this live stream video. And if you haven't done so, please register for the annual convention, Field of Dreams annual convention, February 25th to the 25th. 28th in Fort Worth, Texas, where the guest speaker is Magic Johnson. With that being said, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to live smart, and be money smart today. God bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in.